Fergie, we got three. Fergie, we got three more great value artisan crafted premium macaroni and cheeses today on Box Pack. in the past, we had tried smoked Gouda and Cheddar Harvardi and quite enjoyed them. I liked them, I remember, more than the Cracker Barrel. I don't know what your opinion I was. agree. I, I remember crowning the smoked Gouda the best macaroni it and cheese is, of all time. It is a seriously excellent mac, and it remains so. There are a few more in that family that should be tested. The Cracker Barrel episodes were really special. What we're hoping is to recapture that magic with a Walmart cheap product. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna. I think Cracker Barrel was like, it was so many good things coming together at yeah. once. Yeah. Do you think that this exists because of I'm 100% sure. Cracker Barrel? A fan sent us in a bunch, including the two we'd already tried. And then I picked up this one, which is new actually, this loaded bacon cheddar, and it replaces the pimento mac and cheese. Yeah, so we're never gonna get to try the pimento. No, sadly we won't, unless someone out there happened to buy a box and still has it in their cupboard and wants to send it in. I wasn't into it anyway. Pimento is not really a flavor that I like very you much. You said it'd be a cold day in heck. It would be a, a, a cold day in heck when I was eating pimento mac and You don't like pimento cheese? It'll be a cool day in heck, I'd try it. Yeah. Compared to a certain recent vegan mac we had, I think that a pimento mac would be heavenly. Have you tried any of these here? Um, yes, yes. After we sampled the line, right, I became fully invested in it. Uh, I've had this one, which I have many boxes of, by the way, uh, for some reason. I don't know quite why. Between what you buy for yourself and what we're sent, it can get confusing. I actually inadvertently ate the white cheddar and black pepper that was sent in, but thinking it was mine, yeah. and had to replace it. As long as you took responsibility. I take responsibility. <laughs> and you uh, fixed it. Let me explain the whole thing. I bought this garlic and herb to replace, because I wasn't sure what ones I had eaten, what ones I had not eaten. It's at Walmart, I didn't have a home inventory list, so I just bought them all. And then it turns out I still had the one that the fan sent in, and I still had one that I had bought for my own personal consumption. <laughs> That's the end of the tale. Aren't they significantly cheaper than Cracker Barrel? Yeah. These are less than two bucks. I paid two thirty nine. I got ripped off. Um, however, Cracker Barrel has been going up in price, as we know. It's in the fours in some locations, in the high threes in others. And I box. worry that it's been reformulated some. Yeah. To be a little less tasty. And I don't even keep Cracker Barrel in stock anymore. How about that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to... I mean, eating these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I have my same concerns about this bacon one that I always have about bacon-based macaroni and cheeses. They're never, like, anything that special. I wonder how, like, bacon has made its way in to, like, being kind of a regular flavor. But I think it's we're in the bacon decline. I think bacon was a real, like, yeah. hype thing. There was now. about a seven-year memification of bacon. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And we're coming down now. 25 pounds of bacon, a 21 pound beef patty. People are starting to realize that bacon is really bad for you. It's full of, you know, fat and evil and, you know, animal cruelty. This was unclear before. <laughs> no. Maybe oh, bacon no. made a few like inappropriate comments, like some ambient riddled tweets or something. Yeah. And then that just really got into trouble. And they just turned on bacon really hard. Yeah. Like how we all liked Kevin Spacey just before. And then, you know. And not as much right not, after. Not as much right after. <laughs> And you trusted me, even though you knew you shouldn't. I wonder how well these sell. You really like the smoke Gouda. Have you bought it since then? Uh, no. Why Do you I stock mac and cheese at your own home? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> don't ask about my family. Yeah. <laughs> my family is off limits on your television show. <laughs> we don't really stock it ourselves. It's more like... So no one eats macaroni and cheese except me? Occasionally I'll pick one up. Like, Let's pick up a Mac for tonight. Gloria has it sem semi-regularly. Sometimes the show will be on and she'll go, John and Daddy? There, there's a clip of Jack Black interacting with Elmo. Yep. They're, they're trying on disguises. Yep. <laughs> I said, who's that? And she goes, Elmo and Daddy. <laughs> I was like, Jack Black is not your dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. The D. I do like that she considers it plausible that you hang out with Emma. Yeah, she sees me on television, she sees me in costume with you. Sure, I we, mean. We could be invited on Sesame oh, Street. Yeah. If we had a Sesame Street segment, what would it be? <sighs> Macaroni I mean, and cheese is a sometimes Matt, food. Matt's looking at it, it's like, well, is there a way we could just do it? I'll just invent Elmo. Yeah, I'll just make a bird costume. I can do an okay Elmo voice. I don't know if I can do a good enough one that like to sustain a whole. Could you do it right now? Yo, and Elmo's win. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, all right, all right. You have to kind of yell from the very back of your throat. Yeah. Do you ever do this for Gloria and does she ever get confused? She doesn't care. We read a book, a Sesame Street book called It's Not Easy Being Big, It's Not Easy Being Small. There's a part where they show like big, bigger, biggest, small, smaller, smallest. Yeah. And I'll do big, bigger, biggest. And she'll, she loves yeah. that. She'll go, 
<laughs> comedy to children is completely uh, different than adult comedy. Yeah, it's true. And there's a part where it gets to Snuffleupagus. It says, super duper Snuffleupagus. And then she always goes, so big. <laughs> You're just overwhelmed with the largeness. You and Matt have come to some playground outings. Yeah, with, it's and, been a lot of fun. And you've kind of enjoyed it. We found this cool one that had, like it was ADA compliant. Yeah. We went there recently for the second time yeah. and the whole time she was going, John, Matt? Aww. John, Matt? Aww. <laughs> so what's the story behind these anyway? Well, so I had bought some teacups uh, if you remember last year. My mother had a version of this pattern made by the Plattsgraf company. I swear my Faltzgraf. parents had coffee mugs that were this. That were this exact pattern? Yeah. Or were they bluish? Because bluish is Yorktown, it was a little more popular. This is called Village from Plattsgraf. But they stopped making this in 2005, so I had to order all the pieces on eBay. It wasn't all that expensive. You some vintage stuff. It's what? like two bucks a plate, you know, oh. but the shipping's a little, a little high. It's kind of like a Rorschach thing. Yeah. You ever have in your life like a series of failures? I had recently like my Raid Array power supply went down. My windshield was cracked. Yeah. My home internet was busted. Yeah. Three in a row. That does happen to me too. And I've noticed them specifically when they're in threes. Yeah. I actually recovered all of them in a three day period. Okay. And that felt really good. Yeah. It's a good feeling to resolve like a minor annoying problem. But how about like five of them? Yeah, I try to get on them because otherwise they build up and then like you walk into your house and there's 80 annoying things yeah. until you get to like the other room. I but sometimes you, suffer through things a little, yeah. a little bit. I used to definitely. Yeah. And now I'm like, wait, I have money. I have a set of skills. I can solve this problem. <laughs> Is it Mac time yet? No. 38 minutes. <laughs> Should we reference an old meme? Oh, sure. Remember Orson Welles drunk? The wine commercial <laughs> yeah, and the peas commercial. I think the, both of those. The were peas done. commercial is, of course, classic. And yeah. Pinky and the Brain redid it. Yes, always. I'm always past that. Y you are. Yes. And there's a few times where he swore, and they had to adapt that for Pinky and the Brain. Yes. Get me a jury and show me how you can say in July, and I'll go down on you. Get me a jury and show me how you can say in July, and I'll make cheese for you. This is like you sometimes. There. Oh, I definitely feel that way sometimes. Just do anything? Just do anything? Okay. 102, take two. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired. The decision to be like, <laughs> to let they're this, all looking at each other like, to let cut? this go on. <laughs> cut, cut. California noodle shell. It's fermented in a pot with boiling water. Uh, it's the best French macaroni. Jeez. We're having a steamy day. For ah. Action, please. Ah, the French. Oh, by the way, did you notice my new chef's outfit? The hat's significantly larger. This is a new buy of the original hat. So what happened to the intermediate hat? It's over on the couch. This is just, you know, nice new with different uh, buttons. It's nice. We should recreate the Orson Welles thing with you as Orson Welles. <laughs> sure, I'd gladly. Action, Jonathan. Uh, a French it's more orgasmic than champagne it. in the vineyards of California <laughs> is where you will find it. Maurice LaMarche, who does the brain's voice, he's like the gold standard of Orson Welles' impressions. Yeah. Like in Ed Wood, when Orson Welles appeared and Vincent D'Onofrio played him, but the brain did the voice. Tell me about it. I'm supposed to do a thriller at Universal, but they want Charlton Heston to play a Mexican. That's like the closest at that time without Moff Tarkin CG that you could get to kind of piecing a dead guy back together. <laughs> this is the garlic, which you can see there's a lot of heavy spicing going on. See that pimp move? I took my pimp noodle spoon. Pimp noodle spoon? It's hard to be a pimp. That is, Frank. <laughs> the noodle here looks real plump. That's the plumpest noodle we have in stock, sir. <laughs> Sir, it's the plumpest we have. It's the plumpest within a 50 mile radius. So this one is super herby. I don't know if you can see that, EJ. It is infected with herbs. <laughs> <laughs> a plump herb infection? Oh gosh. Anything but a plump herb infection. Move that one, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I understand. This is your first rodeo. This is my first rodeo. I'm new to the rodeo. How how does it work? Who do I shadow at the rodeo? Oh, Frankie, that one is actually the bacon one. We were seeing was infected with bacon. Well, they all have a different noodle, don't they? No, that's Garbin Ehrlich. We were seeing was <laughs> Garbin <laughs> Ehrlich. Careful. That one's infected with Garbin Ehrlich. Stink. Stank. Stunk. Stunk. Bow. 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 
Mara, mara. Bacon Mac. Mara, mara. You really are quite plump. Mara, mara. It is real stanky. It is a little. White cheddar and black pepper. Yep. And it's really good. Mm -hmm. Excellent pasta. Great tasting cheese sauce, not too sour. Real good. Yeah, it's real good. I mean, I, I just prefer the flavor of the smoked Gouda. But this is a real but quality. But this is, yeah, real hot. Yeah, man. All right, let's try the bacon. Wow. It's very, it's, it's got a very sour bacon flavor. It's too bacony for me. It's artificial bacon flavor too, I mean. I, I can see a bacon lover liking this. Yeah, it, it definitely tastes strongly of bacon, just like creamy bacon. It's the strongest bacon mac we've ever had, for sure. Now we gotta try the herb, and I know this one is strong, frankly, yeah? so. Yeah, Garb and Ehrlich. Garb and Ehrlich. The cheese doesn't really come through on that one. You see why I selected the order I selected. Mm -hmm. Because the other two would have been completely kind of blasted they out by this one. Would have blasted my britches apart. Just gone. Just starts loading his britches up like it's going out <laughs> style. Certainly the bacon one, if you're a bacon lover, the um, garlic and herb, you'd really have to serve with like a boring chicken dish. Let's market to people who have very different preferences in their mac and cheeses. Yeah, yeah like it, they're strongly different. The cheddar with black pepper, it's pretty on the level, right? It's just what you'd expect. I suspect the pimento would have been the same thing. It would have tasted strongly of pimento. They call it the caviar of the South. So Frankie, what do we got coming up next time? I put aside a bunch of box macs that had French writing on them. Okay. We may visit Paris. Okay, let's visit Marie Paris next time on Box Mac. Yes, rosebud frozen peas, full of country goodness and green penis. Wait, that's terrible. I quit. Just a handful for the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, what luck. There's a French fry stuck in my beard.